times 0 equals 0 for any real number. So to proceed along this path, we're going to be using just the field and order axioms. I guess in this case, really just the field axioms. And so we're going to start off by saying, let's let x be a real number. And then we're going to say by axiom 3, axiom 3 was the one about the existence of the identity element. We know that, we know that 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Because that axiom said that anything plus 0 is equal to that exact same anything. So that's axiom number 3 from the field properties. Therefore, what can we conclude from that? Well, let's multiply both sides by x. So x times 0 plus 0 would be equal to x times 0. So by the distributive law, or the distributive property, we see that x times 0 plus x times 0 would be equal to x times 0. Right? Now again, by axiom 3, that's the one with the additive identity. I can add 0 and it leaves things unchanged. We can now get that x times 0 plus x times 0 is equal to x times 0 plus 0, right? Because adding 0 doesn't do anything. Finally, one more step to do. By left cancellation, by left cancellation, that means we're going to cancel out what we're adding on the left, essentially go like this and like this, we can see what's left over. We have on the left hand side x times 0 and on the right hand side just 0, which is exactly what we wanted.